right so good afternoon guys in the previous session we discussed about uh, fetching the first highest number right uh, how to fetch the second highest number that's what we'll discuss now on the same list i love you uh, i'm going to make a new example about it so what's question here 48 write a program write a program to fetch to fetch the second highest number the second highest number highest number in the list in the list again same without uh, without using without okay, without using uh, uh, any built in right built in functions guys without using any built in functions okay uh let me take the same list i'll take the same list all of you i am going to same list here great so if you want find the uh, the second highest value you can find it uh, by using the inbuilt functions without using inbuilt also right inbuilt means uh, for example guys let's take the list to sort right list to sort sort of sorting the uh, i'm going to print off list uh, i'm going to print off list guys okay print off list now so order will come second highest means what first highest means last right last value in the ascending order second highest means the last but one now so minus one index number minus two right uh, minus two guys let's take the minus two over over guys right this is the now what our number will give i am giving suppose 40 now what second highest value right now 30 is second highest value right now it's good it now 30 will come this is the this is the way to find the second highest number by using built in function but but i don't want to use built in functions now. then how like to just the previous video we have found uh, the highest number right highest number so on top of it we implement a uh, second highest number okay so to get the first highest number so a equal to 0 for i in uh, lst then uh, if uh, that i value greater than a value in that case, uh, for A, I am giving the I. I am giving the I right now. What is the uh, what is the A value? Is the top highest value? The first highest value in the list, guys. The first highest value in the list. Okay. Just uh, we have two thirty, right? That's fine. What value? That is the highest value. But we need uh, the second highest value means which is uh, lower than 30 guys which is the next lower okay the immediate lower than the 30 means what is that 20 guys right 20 all of you are clear so now we know what is that what is the highest value we know what is the highest value what is the highest right now simple logic guys here suppose 20 right 20 is the highest okay second highest guys 20 must be greater than must be greater than all other numbers all other numbers all other numbers must be less than the top highest number the 20 must be greater than all the numbers but uh, should be less than which one less than the highest number less than the highest number all of you are clear all of you okay on top of it, we do same example again, guys. Almost we implement the same process, right? The second highest means what's the meaning? The element which must be, which must be bigger than all the elements, but uh, lower than the highest element, right? Less than the highest element. Now uh, we'll take some b equal to zero, guys. Now same I do for i in. Uh, let's take the j, j in LST, right? J in LST all of you then so what is the meaning here i take the now if that j greater than b greater than b means uh, what's meaning here guys okay the each value should greater than which one uh, some b value guys what's b value we'll see now and uh, at the same time uh, that j must be that j J must be less than what? Less than I take A. What is A here? What is A? The highest, right? Highest value, guys. 
A is the highest, okay, highest value. So the second highest uh, must be more than all the elements, must be less than the highest number. In that case, huh, in that case, what we do? We are saying uh, that B to J, guys. We are saying B to J. So J to B, then I'm going to take the printer, uh, print to B, print to B. We'll see now. Yeah, 20 is the second highest, right? Uh, let's check here. I am going to print, guys, both the example, uh, all of your two guys. Okay, let me click here. A first, highest number. Okay, and here, the second, second, highest number, right? Highest number. So first is number 30, second is number 20 guys, right? So I just display print the list also, guys, okay? I display list also, you can see now. Suppose uh, let's take the, some other values, guys, maybe 50, maybe some 100, maybe uh, some 60, 90 like this. What is the high, first highest value is 100, the second highest value is the 90, 90, okay? But now let's see here. Let us see now the execution flow of uh, the second highest game. Okay? I love you. Right. So we are clear that uh, we are clear that the A value here, which one A value? 30, right? 30 guys. That's all. Now coming to this one, what is J value now? I love you. Let's let us try this one now. What is J value? J value is J value first time is 10. Now. J value 10, guys. J value first time is 10. J is the 10. If is true or false, then if is true or false, if uh, J greater than B, what is B? 0. What is J? 10. 10 greater than 0, true. And also 10 uh, less than 30, less than 30, true. Means uh, the condition is true. The if, if is true. If it is true, then what is the B value now? What is the B value, guys? Here, if it is true, what is the what is the B value? What is the B value here? Now the B value becomes ten, guys. Assign right the J value assign to B. So B is the ten. Okay, B is the ten. Over. Next loop. Next loop. But next loop here. What J value? Five, right? Five. The condition true or false? So condition. So the five. 5 greater than greater than uh, what's b value 10 true or false all of you it's a false right it's false so condition is false totally the condition is uh, false right the condition is false if it's false uh, there are no increment or decrement uh, there no assignment guys here next loop uh, what's a value so what's j value 20 now condition true or false uh, j is 20 and what is the B value? B value 10, right? B value 10, guys. 20 greater than 10, correct? At the same time, uh, 20 less than 30 is yes, correct. Means uh, condition is true. The condition is true here, okay? The condition is uh, true, guys. If it is true, if it is true, what we do? If it is true, then the 20 assigned to B. 20 assigned to B, that's all. Okay? Next loop, what next loop here? The next loop, next value is 15, right? Next value is 15, guys. See the condition 15 greater than 20, true? 15, sorry, wrong guy, all of right? 15 greater than 20, false, the condition is false. False means no increment, the, no assignment here. Next 30 coming, right? 30 coming, uh, J30, so 30, 30 greater than 20, uh, it is true. But 30 less than 30, it's false. It's false, right? I'm afraid it's false. That's why what happens here, the condition is false. The condition is false because 30 should not come. Why? 
because that is the highest right uh, uh, next one next one eight but j value j value is the eight now uh, eight uh, greater than 20 it is true eight uh, less than less than 30 it is true sorry sorry guys eight uh, greater than 20 is false right it's false guys and uh, fine all iterations over no so in this way what latest b value latest b value is 20 guys right 20 that's why second highest value is 20 guys okay all of you so this is one of the ways to find the, the second highest number right 20 is the second highest number guys in this list right so thank you so much all of you guys we'll play the next example in the coming session thank you all of you guys bye